Right click network icon. Then click open network connections. Double click local area connection 4. Click properties button. In local area connection 4 properties click internet protocol TCP slash IP. Then click properties button. Choose obtain an IP address automatically. Then choose Obtain DNS Server Address Automatically. Click OK button. Click Close button. Click Support tab. Click Details button. Copy the physical address and default gateway value. Click Close button. Closed all open windows. Open any Internet browser, for example, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Google Chrome. On your address bar, type 192.168.10.1. In password type admin. Click log in button. Click wireless tab. Click wireless basics. Change the SSID or UiFi name. You can customize USSID in any form. This will represent as the name of your Wi-Fi. In security options, you have four options to select. Select WPA2 PSK. In pre-shared key, type your Wi-Fi password. You can customize your password minimum of 8, maximum of 64 in any order of alphanumeric. Click apply button. Click Wireless Repeater. Wireless Repeater Setup. Click Repeater Enable. Click Site Survey button. Click OK button. Wait until 5 seconds surveying will finish. After you click the Site Survey button, you will see the available wireless network. Select the Wi-Fi connection that you want to repeat. Let's try 123456789090. Click Next button. In pre-shared key, type the current password of your existing Wi-Fi connection. Click Next button. Click Finish button. Click Maintenance tab. Click Reboot button. Wait until 35 seconds reboot will finish. In Password type Admin. Under the WAN configuration, you will see the information and look for status if link up is displayed and has an IP address. This means that you are already connected to the Internet. To check if you have access on the Internet, try to open any Internet browser and visit any website that you want to access. Let's try CDR King website. 